Hey everyone, September is in the books, so I wanted to share my trade results for the month of September. Uh, quick risk disclosure, we are not financial advisors or broker dealers. Investing does involve risk. Past performance may not be indicative of future performance. Please pause the video and read the full disclosure. Before I jump into my stuff, uh, Dr. Chad's results, uh, starting with his day trading, Mighty 90 and Runners, uh, 24, almost $2,500 on Mighty 90s. 1200 on volume runners, minus 18 on uh, continuation runners for a total of 1807 for the month. Chad runs our day trading live stream a few days a morning, a uh, few mornings per week, I should say. And then on his zero DTE results, uh, continues to be super consistent. Total profit over 43,000. Uh, he breaks it down by time of day. So his AM Iron Condors made 20K. His lunchtime made a little over 12. Uh, surprisingly, Power Hour, which is typically his most profitable, scratched out green, but uh, not as profitable as the others. Also had uh, some 1DTE trades for a total of 9,800. So total profit, a little over 43K for Chad. Uh, I had a really good month. Um, best month in a while. Uh, really in all trading categories. So um, this is, and so I'm starting with my uh, performance by account, and then we'll jump into the different strategies. But in my trade year account, uh, my account grew by over 42.5% for the month with a minimal drawdown of 2.38. You can see the P&L equity curve from the beginning of the year. It counts up about 80 plus percent at this point, but Nice month in that account. It's primarily my double calendars um, and Wooga trades. Double calendars have absolutely been printing lately. Feels like 2022 again. Hopefully that continues, but you can see uh, by far my biggest um, biggest month of the year by account growth in that account. My uh, One of my toss accounts uh, grew by 8% with a little over 4% drawdown. This is primarily re reverse iron condor, 0, 1, 2, and transformers. Um, you can see this is the account that I was doing my challenge portfolio in. Um, started off well and then absolutely got crushed. So building my way back from that. But the account's still up right at about 50% for the year. Um, you can see this is September. So compared to, you know, not my biggest month by any means, but still green. Uh, my other toss account grew by 11%. This is primarily price action, iron condors, option selling, Magic Mahomes, and portfolio margin up about 11%. There's some other trades in there, but those are kind of the primary ones. Uh, up 11% with a 7.67% drawdown. Uh, this account have really been doing a whole bunch of different things, and you know it's been pretty turbulent all year, never really got green. Uh, big loss in June and I've really, you know, in July I kind of got back to basics and just been slowly building this one up. So not back to green yet, but on its way, uh, you can see that there's the big loss in June, but profitable in that account the last few months. So that is breakdown by account. By the way, I've got another account that I just funded with interactive brokers that I'm trading one of my strategies called the British Iron Condor in. Uh, it's, I haven't been trading it a full month, but um, I guess I'll add that to my analysis. I'm trying to reduce my time spent on this analysis, but um, at least through the end of the year, we'll keep this same format, and then I'll probably simplify things in 2025. But uh, either way, um, some of these uh, some of these strategy results that I'll share with you are also part of my interactive brokers account. Um, but anyway, just kind of thinking out loud here. Uh, all right, let's start with double calendars just cause I had that on my screen already, uh, up 35,503 on 37 trades. Like I said, double calendars have just been absolutely printing lately. Uh, it's a really good month on double calendars. Um, I mean, really across the board, you know, I've, you know, 78% win rate. So there, there's a few, you know, small losers in there. Uh, but for the most part, these things have just been absolutely crushing, uh, very consistent. So hopefully that continues. Uh, let's go to, let's go to zero DTE next. 
So a little over 20K in zero DTE. I'll break these down a little bit more. My AM iron condors, I haven't really been doing much of those. Just had one. Or I should clarify, I still do them, but I either transform them to remove the risk. So you'll see those in the transformers. Or I've been um, using more of a, a BIC strategy. So uh, let's go to my British iron condors. A couple different variations. Really only one of these is a, uh, a 1DTE. I just started kind of testing those at the end of the month. But a little over 14,000 on those. Uh, we did have an FOMC. By the way, I just put out my trade plan for October to the community. And it's going to be pretty BIC heavy. So I'm, I'm uh, trading those very consistently now in the same structure. I've been kind of testing a lot the last few months. And so plan to uh, report on that next month, uh, how that's going. I'm pretty pretty uh, upbeat about what, what we can expect from that. Uh, anyway, I did have a FOMC day. Uh, I had five different trades. One was a ratio diagonal. Uh, I took three different strangles during the press conference. All three hit 35% profit target. And then my FOMC iron condor was a winner. So plus 4,600 on those FOMC trades. Um, I did a last day of the month trade really for the first time. Uh, that's not correct. Yeah, it was, should be plus 190. It was a small winner. Oh, that was sometimes with uploads of expired options into Trader Sync. If it's not a max, it'll always show as a max win or max loss. And this was in between. Not a max win, not a max loss. It's plus 190. So I, I've got to go in and, and fix that. So it'll, it'll be plus 190, not minus 3,500. So overall, my P&L for zero DT was closer to 23,000, not 20,000. But I'll fix that later. Uh, all right. Woogas have done really well. Um, seven trades in Wooga. Oops. Why did that? Why is it showing double calendars? Wooga, Wooga, Wooga. There we go. No. Why is it doing that? There we go. Okay. Trader Sync is a little quirky sometimes. Uh, a little over 20K on 22 trades in the Woogas. Uh, I'm going to, I've been trading these a lot more and will continue to be trading them even more, uh, going forward. So, a uh, nice month in the Wooga, uh, zero DTE price action, a little bit red. Yeah. Minus eight K on 17 trades. Like I said, I'll be, I'll be doing these more in a big style price action, uh, going forward. So I'll show that next month. Uh, reverse iron condors, a little bit red, minus 2K. I'm just doing those small on specific days. And then one and two DTE iron condors. Most of these I've been transforming, so these will be the winners will be reflected in the uh, when I get to transformers, but uh, minus 2K on these ones that I just closed. So that is it for zero DTE, uh, no dynamic butterflies. I already went over calendars, uh, day trading. Let's go to day trading, uh, day trades. So these are directional day trades that we do in the live stream, uh, at the market open. And so, Yeah, there we go. Okay, so a little over 4,700 on these M90s and continuation runners and volume runners. Been a little more, more active. I've been leading this live stream at least one day a week, and Chad leads it the, uh, the other days, but it's been fun kind of getting back into that. Next category, option selling. A little over 6K. Had a nice winner in gold, 
nice winner in UVXY, a couple small wins and losses in Hedgehogs, and that's about it. These are open still. No portfolio margin. Lastly, Transformers. So overall, my Transformers have been really good, except for one, and that is Mr. Magic Mahomes. My Magic Mahomes strategy struggled. So if we break these down and look at uh, just the Magic Mahomes, for example, Minus 12K on my on my main Mahomes strategy. And then the other one that I'm testing with a bot for comparison purposes uh, was a little bit red as well. And I was down 3K. So I'm not real I'm I'm going Andy I'm going coach Andy Reid here. I'm not too worried about Mahomes. You know, he's had some injuries. We Rasheed Rice, our best receivers out for the year. Um Pacheco, our best running backs out for the year. Hollywood Brown got hurt preseason. He's out for the year. I I think Mahomes is going to be okay. He had a bad month, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. So, there's your there's your pep talk about Mahomes. Uh but red month uh, overall, the other transformers though uh po uh very positive. So, let me look, let me break the other ones down here. I'll just do all the other ones except for the Mahomes. I don't know what is up with Trader Sync, but just trying to check boxes. It acts a little finicky. Make sure I got it all. Yeah, there we go. So on other, on other Transformers up 14K for the month. So the Magic Mahomes took the rest of that away for that category, but overall still very solid. So that is it for September. September's a wrap. Look forward to a good October. Obviously, we've got a lot of tension in the Middle East, which is keeping volatility on edge, uh, which could be good, could be bad, depending on what type of trading you're doing. But look forward to a good October. We'll report back next month. Have a great October. Have a great month. Good luck with your trading. Talk to you soon.